Okay, so to check your battery out, you'll need a multimeter or some kind of voltmeter. If it's a multimeter, make sure it's set to voltage DC. And then you just want to attach your uh, probes black to the negative terminal of the ground. Just wedge it in there somehow. And red to the positive. Hopefully I can get that wedged in there. And you're looking for 12 and a half volts or better. You can see here I've got 12.27. So if your voltage is a little low, you want to hook it up to a charger. I recommend a battery tender like I've got here. You can see that. Just hook that up to the battery. Take your multimeter off. If it's red, it's I think it's below 80%, and then it'll start flashing green when it gets to 80% charge or better. And when it's fully charged, it'll turn solid green. So just wait for that to be solid green, and then we'll check it again. Okay, so now my battery's all the way charged because the battery tender is showing me a constant green light. So what I can do is go ahead and take the battery tender off of my battery and reattach my voltage meter. get these to stick set that to DC voltage again and I've got 12.8 something volts so that's all right okay so if at this point you've got acceptable voltage at the battery then you need to try out the cranking voltage if it still won't start or if it turns over slowly. So what you do is just leave your probes on the battery as you have them before. Turn the scooter on and try to crank the engine over with the electric start and hopefully this will not drop below 9.6 volts. So as you can see that didn't go any lower than about 10.6, 10.7 volts. So that checks out all right and you need to move on to the next step.